Hi, I'm Belle from Visible, and I'm going to be demonstrating how to build a custom fund analytics dashboard in Visible. So to start, you're going to need to make sure your investment entries are up to date. To do this, you'll go ahead and head to the portfolio section, and then you're going to navigate to your portfolio company's investment sections. So for this company, Relma, I'm going to head here to investments and make sure that the investment information is up to date. And also, if I need to make any changes to fair market value, I can do that by coming here and selecting edit fair market value. Once all my investment entries are up to date, the next thing that I want to make sure is accurate is my fund metrics. To do this, I'll head to the metrics section down here at the bottom left. From within the fund metrics section, I can see several different fund metrics. Some of these are metrics that I keep up to date, such as capital called, carried interest, distributions, expenses in escrow. I'll just go ahead and click into capital called to show you what this looks like. So if I wanted to add a new value for capital called, I would just come here, add in the new value in the date and can include any notes with it as well. So that's how you can keep fun metrics up to date with invisible. Just to show you as well, also you're seeing these automatically calculated fund metrics and there's about 25 of those. And in just a moment, I'll show you how you can visualize those in a dashboard. So now let's go ahead and build a custom fund metrics dashboard. To do this, I'm gonna head to my dashboard section and I'm going to create a new flexible dashboard. I'll go ahead and label this my fund to dashboard. So starting here with the blank slate gives me a lot of control over how I want to visualize my data and what I want to make sure is top and center. To get started, I'll go ahead and start by building a chart. So if I navigate to the metrics drop down here, I'm going to head here to my fund to investment metrics. You can see within this section, I'm seeing a combination of those metrics that I keep up to date. So management fees, escrow, expenses, and so on. And then you'll also see a list of auto-calculated metrics. So I want to go ahead and pull in this metric, total invested. I have different options for how I can visualize this data. And for this one, I'll choose to pull it in as a number chart. For me, this looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and press save. Now, I can go ahead and continue to build out a few of these same charts. So I'll go ahead and the next one that I want to pull in is actually capital remaining. For this next one, I'm going to demonstrate how you can change the color of your charts. So if I want to build a chart that shows me our total number of investments, go ahead and choose this metric here. And I actually want to change this to purple. I can choose any custom color, but I just chose from the pre-selected uh, options there. And then for this chart, I also want to change the display period to annually. And I want to go ahead and show data labels. Now I'll go ahead and pull in some other interesting metrics that we support. So if I want to come in here and I want to visualize IRR, this is one of our auto calculating metrics. So it's pulling from other entries that you've kept up to date and visible. And if I want to visualize IRR, I'm going to come here and choose gross IRR. And then maybe I also want to map this against net IRR. When I'm ready to rearrange some of the widgets on my chart, I'm going to go ahead and go up here and edit the layout. So I can customize the size of all these widget blocks and choose how I want this to be displayed. The final widget type that I'll go ahead and demonstrate for this type of dashboard is a table. A table can be an easy way to clearly demonstrate multiple metrics within one view. So to do this, I'll head to Fund 2 again, and maybe I want to pull in management fees, escrow, carried interest, expenses, and distributions. 
So now I have an easy table that shows me when all these values have been entered and I can choose the custom range in which the data is displayed. If I want to share out my dashboard, maybe with my teammates or with stakeholders, I can do that by going up here to say share this dashboard and I can share via email or share via password protected link or a public link, or I can choose to embed this somewhere. So that's the foundation of how you can build a custom dashboard invisible. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our team. Thanks so much.